Um, I now recognize Mr. Mulvaney. Thank you, Mrs. Chairwoman. Uh, gentlemen, before I come back to the venture capital question that I want to follow up on, I, wa I want to ask a, a general question. I'm a small businessman. I've participated in an SBA program before. It's not the one we're talking about here today. And I would classify my experience as fair, uh, could have been better. Um, I've heard some really good stories about some things the SBA does well. I've heard some stories about uh, things that are not administered as well as they, they might could be. Um, tell me, how hard is it to use this program? Is, it, is this a relatively easy program to use? I mean, you all are in small business. Does it make sense to you, or is it one of those things you've got to fill out 15 different forms and it makes, it's a complete disaster? Tell me about the experience of actually using the SBIR uh, process and whether or not we can improve it. And anybody, Dr. Koenig. I have to say I have been involved with SBR funding since the early 1990s, so I have a very long view of this. And um, I remember um, telling one of my colleagues back in 1994, musing that I said this was the jewel of the government. I had, you know, uh, there's always uh, criticisms about government, uh, government supported programs. Um, but what I saw, the impact of that program and the ease in terms of um, applications and getting the funding um, made this um, a wonderful resources. Move forward to 2003 when the rules changed, and um, I, was, I was actually very depressed about it because I saw tinkering in a program that was so successful. Um, the actual application process is, is quite easy. I mean, we mostly dealt with the SBRs through the NIH, um, and um, this is not any more difficult. It's, in fact, less difficult than most uh, grant, grant submissions. And the actual administration um, of the funding, getting the awards, has been quite easy. So I have not heard any issues uh, with regarding the administrative aspects um, uh, of the granting process. Gentlemen? Yes, sir. Uh, we work primarily with Department of Defense, and I have to say, and I would speak for my colleague, that it's been a great agency to work with. Um, sometimes they are short of administrative help themselves, uh, but for the recipient, it's a, it's a very helpful process, uh, very encouraging uh, with their support, uh, and it's been, a, I think, a, a very solid program for our company. Dr. Brewer, you want to check in on this, or is it pretty much yeah, the same? Or? Uh, uh, well, first, yes, I want to echo pretty much the same. We've worked with a broader range of agencies, found that kind of experience across the board. Okay. And we also do uh, non-SBR government contracts. And if you compare the two, I'd say SBR is certainly uh, a jewel in the crown, I think it was, was said. No, it's uh, very good. That's good to know, then. Let's come to the issue that uh, Dr. Kandigan has talked about at length, and I know each of you touched on it a little bit. If we wanted to fix it, do you just get rid of Section 107? Do you get rid of the 34, 35 percent caps, or is there another way that do you do you throw all the 2,000 rule changes out and go back to the way it was before? Or I mean, what if we decide that we'd like to try and take this up? What are your recommendations about the best, most efficient way to proceed? Well, I would personally would love to throw the rules back and go pre 2003. Obviously, I know that this has been a very difficult process. Um, to change. I mean, we've been discussing this since 2003. I've actually um, appeared before, this, before the committee uh, several years ago, and um, we're now eight years beyond and haven't resolved the issue. So, you know, the, what I believe and what Bio believes is let's find a, a pathway forward um, that allows participation as much as we can for, for major VC-owned companies. Um, if the Senate and the House can come to a solution that gets away with it, of course we would endorse it. But um, any um, ability to um, have VC majority-owned companies participate at this point uh, would be um, uh, um, very favorable. And I've only got a, about half a minute left, so let me ask this. Are there any other changes of the 2003 rules that we should be looking at primarily, or is, it, or is this VC rule the one that seems to be the sticking point for most folks in your industry. Mr. Norm. Um, I would encourage you to look at the definition of uh, venture capital firms themselves. When we call on family offices, uh, wealthy individuals who have a propensity to do this in angel capital, 
Uh, they form LLCs to protect themselves legally. They hire professional managers. They make more than one investment. And so many of the angel capital investors are now deemed venture capital. So it's just another barrier for us to raise capital and participate in the SBIR program if that definition is too loosely interpreted. Dr. Brewer, I'm out of time, so I'm going to let the chairwoman take it from here. So.